My name is Helen Milne and I am a PhD student at the University of York. Elephants are a really social species with the females forming very tight family units that never really separate. Male elephants are a little bit different. They stick in these groups only till they're about 14 and then they leave and join other males in bull groups. Now from there, we don't really know a huge amount about the details of their social lives and that's what I'm looking into. So we're taking a statistical technique called social network analysis. We're adapting it to be a bit more flexible, a bit more reliable, and then we're applying that to some data that are collected on which male elephants are seen together on different occasions. Overall, what you would consider a typical day for me very much depends on which part of the project I'm currently on. So, so far it's been really desk-based, mostly just writing research and grant proposals, trying to learn how to do the statistics that are necessary for the project. Once I get to the field, it's going to be really different. So then it's going to be in the national park, 6am every day, spend the whole day looking for elephants, watch them, record their interactions, their behaviour, and look for indicators of how the young males are learning to respond to novel situations. And then after that it's all going to change again and hopefully I'm going to be spending a few months working in a genetics lab analysing some microsatellite sequences to try and compare male genetic relationships. I never dreamed that I could get paid to watch wild elephants, that I would have one-to-one -one meetings with some of the biggest names in elephant research. The idea of that is pretty exciting and unexpected still. I can't get used to it, sort of thing. I started with my GCSEs and A-levels, were very science-based. My A-levels were maths, biology, chemistry and physics. My undergrad was in natural sciences with a placement year. So my placement was working with an African charity based in Zambia and Zimbabwe, and that's where I first started to do some elephant research. When I finished my undergrad, they invited me back for a job as their elephant researcher, so I was continuing a lot of the work that I've been doing on my placement, but also adapting the project, building it up, and extending the project. My master's was at the University of Exeter. It was a master's by research, and I was studying bird nesting behavior and vocalization. And I continued that afterwards, working as a research assistant for my supervisor, just to get some extra money in order to start my PhD. Work out what you love and grab every opportunity to do it with both hands and you can't go wrong.